I'm really big on taking a step back and framing the conversation before we dive in. So let's do that. So I mentioned money for good earlier. I want to actually dive into that a little bit. 2010, there was research and Hope Consulting wanted to know how to better obtain donations. How could nonprofits do that? What they found is that 85% of donors, most donors, care about effectiveness, but they aren't willing to do research. A little scary to find those nonprofits. So only a third of donors research and only 5% are actually trying to find the best nonprofits, the high performing nonprofits. That's why we are so excited about the high performing nonprofit initiative that actually launched today. So we followed up um, and worked with Hope Consulting on the next phase. So we know donors don't do research, but they care about impact. So we're, we were really focused on how to bridge that gap. So what we found is that donors and funders care about five pieces of information most. So I'm going to go through them really quickly. The first is financials, and that is the Form 990, but note, no donor said overhead. They all said financials. They just want to know what money is coming in and out. Second is impact and effectiveness, because they want to know what you're doing and what progress you're making. Third is legitimacy. They want to deduct it from their taxes, and they also just want to make sure you are an IRS registered organization. Fourth is the mission or cause of a nonprofit. It's the lifeblood of our sector, and it's why you give. And the fifth is basic organization information. So that's where you're headquartered, who your CEO is, and whether you serve a local, national, or international population. So <clears throat> there's a ton of research, actually, at um, guidestar.org slash money for good. And there's a free guidebook. You can download it. And it's got a ton of that research and material. It's, it's actually a very short book. But there's really actionable tips to take that research and actually do and show those five pieces of information. Um, I'm going to talk about three steps for doing that, collect, communicate, and connect. I'm probably not going to get through all three because um, my colleagues here are going to talk about it, a lot of it too. But really, when you think about the first step and getting those five pieces of information in front of donors and funders, you have to think about collecting your information. Really, the best initiative to do that, and it's completely self-serving, but it's true, is the GuideStar Exchange. So this is our free program where nonprofits can give us additional information. And I think there's information about it in the packets. So definitely look there. Um, this is our transparency program, and this is how nonprofits can manage their identity and profile on our website. So if you are a constituent or a staff member of that nonprofit, you have total access to your profile. You can tell your full story, and that's really important because we buy all the 990s from the IRS. That is our biggest expense. We buy that, we digitize it, and we put it on our site. People don't think we buy it, but we do. <laughs> That's what they see if you don't take control of your profile on our site. So do come in and give us more information. We know that it takes time and energy, and you are all doing a million things, and we totally get it. So we actually have three levels, and it depends on how much information you give us. So if you give us basic organization information, you're a bronze level participant. If you give us financial information, you are a silver level participant, and if you give us impact information, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, you are a gold level participant. And there's a ton of resources to help you get to that. And this is what it looks like on guidestar.org. So if you, this is just a sample organization, the Office Depot Foundation. If you see the quick view summary, there's a green check mark that says, yes, they're a participant. If you actually click on that, it drops down, and you can see that they're actually a gold level participant. And those three symbols, those, those three logos, are really the symbols of transparency in the sector. There are about 95,000 nonprofits that have participated so far, but there's only about 3,000 at the gold level. So my job here is to really encourage you to to take that time and to actually give us additional information, we are happy to work with you and help you get through the steps that you need to. Our job is not to get you to fill out more stuff. It's really to get the information that we know donors want in front of them. And we don't hold on to it. We actually partner with a ton of groups, and we give them your information. So has anyone ever heard of Amazon? 
Yeah, we pa part, uh, power Amazon Smile. So if you give us information, you're then on Amazon Smile. That's a huge fundraising opportunity. Same thing with donor advised funds. We have Fidelity and Schwab and a ton of different organizations that help you get better reach and better um, fundraising opportunities. And not only that, we actually have about 7 million annual visitors to our website. So they are coming, as I said earlier, to the nonprofit profile. So they care about what you have to say way more than what I have to say, which is sad because I'm in communication. So they really care what you're telling and the picture that you're portraying. We also have 20 donation portals. So Network for Good, for instance, we power them. So again, this information is really valuable. We know donors and funders want it. We know from the snapshot research, et cetera, that third-party validation is really important. But we also know that it's taking you time and energy to do it. So we push it out to the people that care. And we also give you a bunch of benefits. So there's listed here, but in addition, you can improve your search engine optimization on Google. If you lose your tax exempt status, God forbid, or if, you, if we receive your 990 from the IRS, et cetera, you can actually set up nonprofit alerts. We'll send you an email to tell you that these things have happened. And then we've partnered with a bunch of groups. So grassroots.org is one, and they have free website hosting and website builder. So there's really, really great information there. Um, this is our attempt for to really get quantitative information. We also have uh, a program to get qualitative, which we partnered. Um, and I'm going to skip through these really quickly because Ken is going to talk about it. Um, <clears throat> but this is how you get started. If you go to guystar.org, there's a yellow bar that says Update Nonprofit Report. Click it. There are step-by-step -step instructions. The first thing you have to do is claim your nonprofit's profile. Anyone who has questions, I'm going to be here to talk about it later um, on the, the table time. And I'm also happy, if you want to send me an email, I'm happy to chat with you. So I think that's all I have. Really quickly, the three steps, collect, communicate, and connect. This is really a great way to communicate to donors and funders, especially impact-oriented donors, that you get it and that you're transparent and accountable and you uh, show your impact. So these are all badges and seals and logos that really show donors very quickly that you get it and that you're doing great work. So that's kind of the communication step. Celebrate accolades that you get. Put them on your donor solicitation materials. Put them on your website. Put them everywhere you can. And to your question before, repeat it as often as possible. Um, and. I have lots of thoughts on how to connect in an ongoing way, but I'm not going to talk about it here. So if you guys want to talk about it, I'm happy to do that later. And that's it. <laughs>